right. Uh, welcome to High School Corner, home of the Spratton Eagles. Brought to you by Lake Plastic Crocodile uh, Dynasty. Mark Leslie One here, and we're going to talk a little high school football. Uh, this week, only the Northeast played. So we had four games and uh, some of the teams should have stayed home. <coughs> we, we had a couple of uh, blowouts. Woo! <laughs> but um, <clears throat> now we're getting closer and closer to uh, getting our uh, getting our playoff bracket complete. We got four teams in and we're waiting on the, the next four. Two coming out of this province and two coming out of the Western who will be playing uh, next week. So, uh, uh, we're getting close. Uh, the first game, first game here was uh, Stillwater and uh, Hal Halton. Oh, Halton. Man, ooh, these names. <laughs> Uh, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> anyway, uh, started off fairly, fairly, you know, close, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the home team just just started to run away with it, and uh, Stillwater didn't score until late in the game. I was uh be down number one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and uh and you can see, you know, you seventy yard seventy two yard uh rushing, that that that's not gonna that's not gonna cut it, so um <clears throat> and uh Quarterback didn't really throw that much, but he ran a lot, as you can see. Uh, 134 yards rushing, so. Then the Red Riot taking on Ellsworth, the, the Eagles. And um, this was another, uh, excuse me, this was another game that uh, was tight early. And um, it was starting to look like that the uh, that it was, you know it's gonna keep going back and forth. You know, uh, the riot was scored, and then the Eagles were scored, and the riot was scored, and then the Eagles were scored, and so it was going back and forth for for a while. And then um, and then late in the second half, I do believe the riot just started to pull away with it. So. So as you can see, we was basically just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, so it, it was one of the better games. In fact, it was the better game. I mean, you know, like I said, the, the rest of them, uh, they, they should have stayed home. So, uh, but uh, they had a chance to... Uh, had a chance to make it 21 all before the half, but Ellsworth wound up throwing an interception just before they went into the locker room. So that kind of turned some things around. So I think the score was uh, 35 to 21. 35 to 21. And then we had the Wildcats, the undefeated Wildcats came in. The, like you said, press, press, squeak, press, squeak. Yeah, man, I'm not even gonna try. Owls. The Wildcats came in undefeated. <laughs> and the Rams, the defending champions from last season, the Rams came in. And, uh, shoot. <clears throat> uh, this game got away from them like quick, fast, and in a hurry. 
I mean, it wasn't even, it was like, what's going on? The uh, Wildcats returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown. And then the very first play from scrimmage, uh, the Rams fumble, and the Wildcats pick it up and score. So in two plays, it's 14 to nothing. And then the Rams got the ball back and turned around and threw a pick six. <laughs> so three plays down and they down 21 to nothing. So it was it was downhill from there. Downhill from there. And in the final game with the Coyotes taking on the Vikings, the undefeated Vikings. I'm gonna tell you what. They got a quarterback freshman too. So I'm pretty sure Coach Wayne gonna be looking for this guy. Lee Gore. Lee Gore. Freshman quarterback. He runs them and he throws them. And it's just straight. Just score, 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 score. That's that's all he do the whole game. It was not close. It was not pretty. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, if you're a Viking, I mean, that was wonderful. <laughs> just wonderful. Just sitting back, just watching, just watching run up and down the field. But, you know, you were for Old Town. Oh, buddy. You should not got off the bus. <laughs> I mean, you should have, you should have just told the bus driver to just keep on going. Just keep, don't, don't pull over, don't stop. Don't park, don't don't open the door, don't let us out. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we've been getting blowouts all season long. The, the good teams are very good. The bad teams are very bad. And the teams in the middle are inconsistent. <laughs> and that's pretty much the way it is. <laughs> it's, it's, that's pretty much the way it is. So far, we got two undefeated Providence champions and two one-loss runners-up in the playoff. And I'm pretty sure that's how the other four teams going to come in. Two more undefeated, two more one-loss. You're not going to see two or three losses in the playoffs. It's just not going to happen. The, the good teams are just too good, and the bad teams are just too bad teams in the middle they just too inconsistent they, they, they're not strong enough to hang with the good teams and they are inconsistent when they play each other you know they they work over the the, the, the really bad teams but when the middle teams play each other you know it's win here, lost there, win here, lost there. So it's, it's, it's pretty much setting in stone the way this season been going. But, you know, it happens. If you're really good, you're really good. That's just the way it is. And that's what you want going into the playoffs. You only want the, the biggest and the best. And uh, out of this state, I do believe we're going to have that. In uh, 18 playoffs. So, there you go. And uh, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. That brings this broadcast to a close. So, uh, Kirk Street. I'm Brad that's, that's pretty much uh, all we had to discuss. Uh, we hadn't. Uh, we are under a recruiting embargo right now, so there's no recruiting going on in the NCAA right now. Uh, we're getting ready for the conference championships coming up and the bowl game coming up. Uh, and like I said, we're in our final week, so um, that's just the way it is. So. Uh, we're going to see the Crocodiles take on the main Bears. 
the big rivalry, the main game. So we're going to get geared up for that. Can't wait for that. Uh, hoping the Crocodiles can pull out a victory. Uh, walk out of the season 11-1. It would be awesome for a first-year program. So. And there we go to standings. And as you can see, it's going to come down to a championship game between the top two teams next week. And whoever loses that game, we're going to see if they're going to have what it takes to bounce back the final game of the season. So, like I said, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you Black Lake Stadium <laughs> taking on the Bears of Maine. You have a good one.